Gunners Diaz, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye, 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 bye. And in my noodle style and direct fashion, you guys already see the thumbnail, so you know what it is. It's going to get a little controversial. So those that don't like what I say, cover your ears, right? But still watch the video, eh? Because that's how you get paid. So watch this, man. Trip out. No added preservatives. None of that bullshit. Before we get into the video of the, of the day, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support that I'm getting. We are going up, man. It's because of you. So now, I did a video the other day, man. I guess it was questioned by a lot of people. Um, and it was called Norteños, the lies, the myths, and the slander, right? So I wanted to come at it from a different angle and I wanted to do a video because I was asked by a loyal subscriber to do a video called The Southsiders, The Lies, The Myth, and The Slander. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are really not laced up, man. Let's just keep it, let's keep it cut and dry. They're not educated. You know, I've seen people say things from Mount Vernon to fucking Egypt and have it wrong, bro. Um... I can tell you what I can tell you from a northern perspective, from a different aspect, from the outside looking in. What I believe, man, are some of the biggest misconceptions, the myths, the lies, and the slander that are placed on the front doorstep of the Southsiders, right? So I grew up um, getting educated to the points that we were different than Southsiders. As a Northanial, we had different beliefs. There was different rules and regulations, different reglas. We believed in something totally different. When at the end of the day, I could tell you for sure, 100%, that's false. That's a false narrative. I was being fed propaganda to believe that basically I was a, a superior to another Chicano or another Mexicano when that's not the case. We're all the same, eh? Now, we come from different areas, most of us. You know, with this upstater movement, it's a little bit different because what you have is Southsiders that actually live in Northern California. So they wiggle the Northern California way. Yes, they, their heart is with the South. Their gang, you know, carries that label or that tag, Holmes. But at the end of the day, you are from where you're from. And if you're from Northern California, man, you're from Northern California. Now, a lot of these Vatos have accepted that. They have embraced it and you see a lot of them with the cities or the neighborhoods that they grew up in representing viciously and violently. That's them. So let's take this, the upstate south side movement and put it to the side a little bit because they just got different ways of thinking. And, um, you know, to me, it's it's just Vatos that from Northern California that claim a gang, you know, that's not basically homegrown, you know, a different organization. You know, but the Southsiders get a lot of slander put in their name. And one of the biggest things that I see, and I did a clip the other day, was a very controversial clip where there was an old school Valto that was actually in YTS, you know, and he's talking about the blacks. He's talking about the interaction with the blacks. Now, this was his own personal belief and the beliefs of a lot of his camaradas around him. And back in them days, you got to understand there was very, there was a lot of racial uh, things going on. It wasn't racial undertones. It was out there. And everyone felt the same way. Blacks felt the same way about Mexicans and Mexicans felt the same way about blacks. It's very unfortunate, you know, that two minority groups continue that to this very day. Um, this not really uh, uh, sitting down and talking about situations, talking it out. They'd rather use biases or what they believe is true rather than what truth really is. You know, I've never been a very racial person or racial at in any points in my life. You know, I understand the differences between some of the cultures and ethnicities, and I understand there's some that I like better than others, but it doesn't mean I hate you because I ain't you. It doesn't mean that, you know, I'm going to judge you because of the color of your skin or, or anything like that. That's not me. That's not the way I grew up or the way I was laced or the way I'm ever going to be, period. To my grave, I'm going to go saying that everybody's the same, man. We all like goldies. We all like low riders. We all like rap music, man. It's the same. You can't sit here, bump Tupac, and in the next light, go shoot at a black guy because he's black. I don't believe in that. But anyways, when I dropped that clip, that guy, although he was being professional in his speech, and all, although he was keeping it real and uncut and saying how he truly felt, that is not how every Southsider or Sureño um, thinks. Okay, especially nowadays. Times have changed. A lot of that racial shit is left behind the walls or it's just changed. 
There's a lot of people that have um, pioneered themselves into accepting other people's cultures and respects. I hear a lot of the blacks and the brothers say, man, the Mexicans stole our culture or they stole. Nobody stole nothing. Nobody has stolen anything. You know, if anything, man, that should be a blessing that other people have adapted. It's not that you ate. Hey, too short said it. Always be proud of who you are. Never try to be someone else. Be proud that someone um, admires your culture and the ways you wiggle. They're not necessarily trying to steal it away from you. It's always going to be yours, homie. If you allow it to be stolen, that's on you. You have to reap those repercussions. But um, be happy that people have embraced and, and you're able to enlighten them with your swag, your style. And it goes both ways. You know, you're going to talk to a Mexican, a Southsider. He's going to say, hey, we do the lowrider thing. We do this, the baño thing. We do that. And a lot of the brothers down south have adapted to that, right? It's all about fucking environment. It's all about where you're at in that particular time. You know, I've seen a lot of the black gangs um, identify with a lot of the Mexican culture and vice versa. So no one's stealing anything. If anything, people are fucking mixing on a better tip, man. And that means um, there's going to be a lot, of, lot less racial shit going on. You know, so before you jump the gun and get mad because somebody um, doesn't see eye to eye or agree with your particular views... Don't judge his whole group or where he's from because not everyone's like that. So a lot of the myths and the lies that get put on Southsiders is that they're all racial and that they hate blacks. That's not facts, man. That'd be like me saying all blacks hate Mexicans. That's not facts, right? Um, a lot of the Southsiders that go into the prison system have to do what the whites have to do, have to do what the blacks have to do, have to do what the Norteños have to do. And that is basically stick with your own fucking people. It's the way it is, man. Not everyone agrees with it. I know when I used to get in there, I had a lot of white partners, black partners, even Southsiders that I fucking mixed and mingled with in the cuts on the unders because I knew it wasn't it wasn't safe to do so, right? Um, so I didn't hate them or I didn't have racial, uh, um, you know, um, racial feelings about them because they didn't have my same skin tone, man. I'm a very light-skinned Mexican person, man. Some people think I'm white, right? So... A lot of the white dudes would kind of look at me like, what is this guy, Wood? Does he have coffee? Right? And that's it. Um, so one of the myths is that the Sureños or the Southsiders are racial. Not all of them, man. There are those that have personal feelings or there are those that are indoctrinated and educated and laced up that way. Just like I was laced up to hate Southerners because they were different, right? When at the end of the day, man, after I grew up and came into my own shell like a Ninja Turtle, I understood they weren't very much different at all. You see, we grow up North, South, Blacks with some of the same uh, 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 prejudices against us, some of the same you know, uh, turmoil and struggle, some of the same oppression, some of the same shit, right? So you know, people say, you know, if you're a black man, you have it hard in America. I agree. You know, I agree. People getting pulled over racial profile just because they're a little bit darker and they're not fair skinned. I agree. But I agree also that there's a lot of Mexicans that go through the same shit. You know, they're oppressed because their English is off a little bit or they're oppressed and, and called illegal aliens because they're not properly documented. I don't do none of that, man. I believe everybody has a right to be on every single fucking speck of every single land because it's all all ours. I'm not going to sit here and argue with people over who was here first. It's who's here now, right? We're all here, homes, so we all should get along and make it the best we can and enjoy life rather than hate another person and try to fucking shit on their whole fucking theory because you honestly believe truly that you're more superior or that you were here first. Who cares who's here first, man? We're here now. Let's party, eh? Fuck it. You know what I mean? Tigo bitties. So when people say that, you know, all Southsiders are racial, I don't agree, man. I agree that, you know, there are some. There's going to be some of everybody that's racial. There's racist people from everywhere, man. Um, and it's unfortunate, but it's just life and that's the way it is. Now, another thing is that, you know, the Southsiders, because they have numbers, man, they push their weight around on people because of numbers. Again, another myth, right? Um, I've been in places where Southsiders were the, the, on the opposite side of the fence. They were outnumbered. See, there are some Northern facilities where maybe Northanials or brothers are deeper than Southsiders. Southsiders have their beliefs and rather if there's one, two, three, four, ten of them, a hundred of them, they're going to still believe in what they believe in and strive just like any other group for their cause, man. So it's all, all about, you know, oh, because they have the numbers, they allow this and they allow that. And no, that's furthest from the truth, man. You could, it could, 
it could get a little bit more trickier as a sell sider because of the numbers. That's a lot more people you have to weed out. That's a lot more vetting you have to do. So there might be a lot more bullshit that becomes involved in it. And quietly as it's kept from everything I've seen on Southsiders, man, they have a lot of inner turmoil and a lot of bullshit going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of fighting amongst their own, man. You know, just because people say, hey, they leave the body of warfare and all that shit on the guy is and they get incarcerated behind the walls and they're all one. Yeah, but that doesn't stop a fucking individual's feelings because you smoked his brother. He's still going to find some way to dirty Mac, dirty politic you or whatever. It happens a lot. I've seen a lot of guys getting removed and whacked. I've seen more Southerners get removed and whacked than anybody, man, because they handle their fucking business. And that's just a fact. Now, look, Trip. Another myth, man is that, you know, um, the Sureños hate all Norteños. And that's just the way it is. That's a lie. And let me tell you, there's a big difference between Sureños and Southsiders. And I'm not going to get into the politics and explaining it to you. There's other channels that will. I think I've done enough explanation in the past. Um, but there is a vast difference. There is, you know. So um, just a regular Southsider or a Volto that, you know, is with the business but hasn't achieved that status or that level yet you know, um, they're not all the same and they don't all hate Northanials. Now with the upstater movement, yes, they don't take kindly to the North because these are the same Vatos smacking their shit back and forth. Right. But with the Vatos from Southern California, they're not really tripping. 99% of them have never seen a Northanial till they turned on YouTube and voila, there's one, right? Unless you've been incarcerated, you don't even know what a Northanial is being from Southern California. Their most common enemy is the person across the street who they've been beefing with from a hundred years ago, right? Because they're very generational. That's the difference between Southsiders and Northanials is that Southsiders are more generational, meaning their father's father's father was part of the barrio and they kind of just fell into it, homes. Whereas the Northanials, man, you have to basically get jumped in and be from somewhere. I've seen homeboys come in that are from Merced, move at the age of 14 to Modesto, and next thing you know, they're from the west side of Modesto. It's just the way it is, right? With the South, it's a little bit different. You grow up in that environment, in that hood, and that's what you claim. You know, you don't really have a choice. Unless you move at a very young age to a different spot, then, of course, man, you're transplanted, and it is what it is. But for the most part, most of them bottles are come from generational shit where they've been there for a very, very long time. Okay? So another big myth, man, that I wanted to elaborate on because I'm getting tired of hearing frivolous bullshit, right, is that... The Southsiders are allowed to snitch on blacks or any other group. Never going to happen. There's not one group in prison, period, especially in the state of California, allowed to snitch on another group or to put it out there, dry snitch, anything in particular. If dudes are whacking each other over fucking wearing fucking pants that are too tight, if dudes are whacking each other over fucking dope or whatever, you think they're just going to allow their people to snitch on another ethnicity like that's cool? You know, just because a Vato is black or white or green or yellow doesn't mean that you're allowed to say more about him than you would say about your own head. That's not the way it works. I've never seen it. Now, I've heard a lot of people speak on it. You know, I've heard a lot of brothers say that, hey, the Sureños of Southside has been telling on us for years. They're allowed to tell on us. That's never going to be the case. They're not allowed to tell on anyone, homes. Believe any guy who has any type of smut or any type of telling or any type of weird shit on his jacket will be whacked and removed immediately. Damn bottles handle their business. Facts. Okay, here's another myth um, that's been said about Southsiders that I don't typically agree with. Is that they roll with the whites, that they have an alliance, that them and the whites are thick as thieves, that it's always going to be good in the hood with them and the whites. Psh, I call cow shit. Stinks, doesn't it? Any real Southsider or Sureño knows I'm speaking the real right here, Holmes. Whether I'm non-active or active, Holmes, they're going to agree with this. It's not like that. Most of the Southsiders, man, are just like any other group, man. They want to stick with their own hint and their own people. Are they racial? Not all of them. Like I said, with blacks, it goes the same way with whites, Holmes. So they're not racial towards the whites. There's been a common understanding, and that is an, en uh, 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 an enemy. If you have common enemies, I don't know how the fucking shit goes. I'm George Bush in it right now, right? But if you have a common enemy, homes, that makes you come together closer like butt cheeks to handle business. If you can have an ally in that particular yard at that particular time because of a number situation or it just be like that, then it is, man. A lot of the white guys do not get along with the brothers, just the politics of prison. Same thing goes with the Southerners, whereas the Northerners do get along with the brothers. But it even goes down to over personal reasons. I just did a video about it the other day about the fucking in Susanville where the blacks and the northerners got off, right? And I'm going to bring someone on. We're going to elaborate a little bit thicker than thieves on that one. But trip, 
The whites in the in the South Siders are not together on every yard. Fucking, uh, they might function or program on the same side of the yard because there's a little bit more trust there. Um, but it doesn't mean that they're fucking together. And every time the South Siders ride, the whites are with them or vice versa. It doesn't happen that way. You know, in some places, man, there's willings and dealings and a lot of business that goes on. So they feel obligated or they do it righteously out of just courtesy. Um, but it's not happening. It's not whites and South against the blacks all the time. Sometimes it's whites against the South. Sometimes the South against blacks, whites against blacks. Sometimes the South Siders will be like, hey, whites, handle your own business. You guys have played through with the blacks. That's on you. That's how it is. So it's a myth when people try to say, oh, man, all Southerners or Southsiders, man, they stick with the whites, the same people that oppress them on the streets and this and that. No, nah, that's furthest from the truth. There's a lot that don't even get down like that. They're a very uh, a group that sticks to their own, just like everyone else. Um, you know, one of the lies that's been told for the very longest time is that, um, you know, Southsiders moved into Northern California on some pre-planned invasion to take over. <laughs> that's furthest from the truth. A lot of these barrios from up north, the upstater movement, um, have been around for a long time. Barrios like Vicky's Town that come from the Southern California have been in Sanjo for a very long time. Um, you got other barrios, even in my city and other cities, man, that have been around for a long time. See, it wasn't no invasion where Southerners just started popping up everywhere, man. There's vatos that have been claiming the food for a very, very long time in Northern California. So it's been around. So it wasn't no pre-planned arrangement or invasion in Northern California. Vatos just identify more with the Southern movement. And ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Just like it ain't nothing wrong with a Norteño being a Norteño or a dog being a dog, right? Now, here's another thing that's been a myth that's been thrown out there that I wanted to kind of clap back on. Is that Southsiders um, back in the days had uh, a, some type of alliance with the Bulldogs for a minute against Norteños. Not true at all. There was no reason for the Southsiders to embrace or or uh, need any help from any other group. They could do it on their own. Every group does, just like the Bulldogs do it on their own. What there was was a red light at one point in time, meaning that they could function on the yard, do their own program. They weren't tripping on them. Now, somewhere along the lines, the Southerners felt and the Bulldogs felt that it just wasn't working out, man. And personal things happened. Shit went down. And now it's on site and it's not good anymore in the hood anymore. And that's just what it is. But there was never no alliance. There was never no grouping. They did have a common enemy. But again, man, I don't think the Southsiders felt like they needed the Bulldogs assistance on anything. More so as where the Bulldogs were just trying to function on the yard and program. So they were willing to set bullshit to the side and in the past and function on the same, side, same sides of the um, Southsiders. It happened to Pel in Pelican Bay, man. Um, I know that for facts. So anyways... um. There's a lot of misconceptions that are thrown out there. You know, there's a lot of people that, that choose to throw out propaganda that the Southsiders are so deep because they allow anyone to join their ranks. That's not the way it works out either, man. I think every different group, especially behind them walls, vets their gente, their people. You try to make sure, man, that your people are solid because you're only as strong as your weakest link. We all know that. So a lot of them bottles, man, that are Southerners that go in there and best believe they play their, they play their position, man. See, in prison, not everyone's a killer. Not everyone's a hitter. And there's different philosophies. That's why you're asked if you're willing to defend the casa. You know, some people are hitters, homes. They have it in them. They're killers. That's what they do. They like, they rather enjoy getting off. That doesn't mean they're any more solid than the next homeboy who isn't. Best believe everybody will hold their weight on a yard. Everybody will, uh, there will be no dead weight. I heard that straight out of a Southerner's mouth in real life. When he functioned on yards, he said there would be no dead weight, meaning you will do something to participate in the group functions. But it doesn't mean um, that they're just going to let anyone kick it, man. You will be vetted. That's what it is. So I wanted to put out another, uh, another, another lie, man. Another lie that's thrown out there quite commonly is that fucking, you know, every vato um, in Southern California, for one reason or, or another, man, you know, um, is super serio or super gangster. And that's the way that they have to be. You know, it's changed. Times have changed. See, we live in a big world where gangs adapt to what's going on. Trends, things happen, right? Um... And I know a lot of people, me, myself, I'm not a big advocate for the N-word. 
I hate it. I don't like blacks saying it. I don't like Mexicans saying it, especially. And I don't like whites or nobody saying it because I believe it's a derogatory word. It's a filler word that none of us should use, right? Um, but you see a lot more of these youngsters, North and South, saying the N-word. It just is what it is to each their own, right? Um, does it mean that they're going to be whacked or, or looked at some certain way? No, there's going to be bottles from my generation and even older that are going to look at them some type of way and are not feeling it just like I'm not feeling it. But it doesn't mean they're not solid or they're not hardcore. They're not about their business or they can't be from a movement because they choose to um, be a little bit more mixed culturally, right? Um it just is what it is. So when people are saying, oh, man, you know, uh, I see a lot of people say, oh, the Southerners that give the Northerners a hard time for being for being or acting like they're black, which to me, it's just just uh, embracing someone else's culture. Right. And having love for it, you know, um, and now they're doing it. No, bro. Motherfuckers been doing it. You are the way you are. People act the way they act. There is no way to switch up all of a sudden. It's a mass switch up. It's just people. These kids are now hip hop influenced. Um, brothers control hip hop. There are a lot of Mexicans that are involved in hip hop and that's just what it is, man. And everyone is basically, man, it's a good thing. Everyone's showing love to each other. So those are just some of the few myths and things that I wanted to put out there. Um, you know, one of some of the main things that I see is a lot, and, and, and it's a trip, you know, I drop these little clips, these old school clips and a lot of people, Oh, Gunner, you, you're on the Southerners nuts. You just want, no, 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 bro, Spencer, there ain't too many Northerner clips, right? Um, I just kind of show the people how it was in the past, the idealisms, the realness and what was going on compared to now, how things have changed. Doesn't mean it's any different or, I mean, it's different, but it's not any less than it's just, I'm trying to show people spots and pictures into our culture and our history and things that have changed along the way. That's what it's about. So some of those, those are some of the myths, lies and standards. I hope I was able to correct them because I know from experience and having battled against the opposition, man. I remember another myth um, that used to be put out there with the North Daniel movement was that um, we weren't tripping. If there was 100 of them on the yard and there was 30 of us, we were going to get them because we felt like the numbers were even. Look, let's be honest. Let's be truthful. I don't give a fuck who you are. Nobody's Superman, eh? Right? Unless you're Wes Watson, right? Nobody's that guy. Um, if there's 15 bottles, there's one of you that is by no means equal or even, you know, your mentality might be stronger in some situations, but them bottles are going to fuck you up. That's just what it is, right? Do numbers play a factor in prison? Absolutely. Why is the South Siders the most dominant group? It's not only because of sheer numbers. It's also because of the ways they're thinking, the callousness and the treacherousness of their group. That's what it really is. With that being said, man, respects to everybody, man. Sometimes when you judge books by its cover and you don't read what's inside, homes, you're going to be very misled. That's why I put out these videos to let you be, let it be known on that side of the fence. And in real life, man, um, that everybody's the same, but not everybody's the same. Read between them lines. With that being said, hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive, the struggle, the struggle, the strive. If there's anything you want me to speak on or you have some ideas um, a, a reaction video, whatever. Let me know, man. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to do the best I can. And we're going to continue that struggle for reals. So that's what it is, man. The myths, the lies, the slander. You know, people slander the Southsiders name. Oh, they're all racist and they all don't, you know, no, 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 no. Come on, man. You know, I know a lot of authors that have good hearts, man, and grew up with a lot of brothers, a lot of blacks, you know, like Watts Vadio, Grape, Grape Street, man. I've seen a lot of, a lot of collabs going on, you know, that's why people like Whack 100, um, even Mexican people that spit that fucking, that bullshit, right? It's not a good look and it shouldn't be a reflection on everybody because not, they, them dudes don't speak for everybody. You feel me? Period, right? Northern California, we got along with the blacks. As far as the whites go, we got along with you guys too, but Woods, you already know what it is in prison. Who got that coffee? Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, and struggle, and strive for what I truly believe in. And that's the betterment, the realness, no matter preservatives, and I'm going to give it to you raw right here on Gunners Collective TV. Bang, bang.